Hey, good afternoon. I just wanted to share a video. I'm out at about, uh, it's uh, two o'clock, fourth day of hunting season. And I'm out elk hunting. As you can see, I've been out about four or five days and uh, stalking a beautiful bull, one of the biggest bulls that I've seen since I've been hunting. And so I'm anticipating stalking him and getting within range. He's in his bed and I plan on ambushing him. And uh, Lord willing, trying to be sensitive to the right strategy. But something occurred to me, you know, as I came into this hunt, I was, um, oh, a little bit apprehensive because I hit my 62nd birthday. <coughs> and I just don't have the strength I used to. And realized that it has to become now a 12 month year um, discipline for me. And uh, the truth came to me, and I've done some weightlifting, done some workouts, been up in here three times bear hunting, and got somewhat ready. Then have limited my activity while up here. Uh, 10 years ago, I used to up and down these mountains, go to 10,000 feet almost every day. And, uh, but discipline has to become delight. And uh, what I mean by that is, we can talk about discipline all day and never get into a discipline and stick it out. But discipline, when it becomes a delight, here's why right now as I anticipating stalking a, a large elk, hope to have a picture of it after I shoot it. And uh, it's a delight right now. My adrenaline's up, I'm excited, excited I saw it, excited that the Lord helped me spot it as it came in the canyon and hit itself within a very short period of time. So now I realize all that pain, because elk hunting, let's be, let's be honest, is about 33% preparation. Getting the right gun, knowing your gun, my backpack, a Tensing 6000, been using it for years, love it. Love my equipment. Started out with some bad choices, bad equipment, and bad maps, and have corrected that along the way. And so a third of elk hunting is, any kind of hunting is, preparation. And uh, the second third is the pain. If you're not willing to breathe hard, be out after dark, stumble, take risks, I've been out here camping on my own. And I don't recommend it, but it's something I do. Something I feel like I have permission from the Lord to do. And uh, there's a lot of grace on it. Wonderful time I have out here. Clearing my head and you can hear my voice is hoarse because I'm probably a little bit dehydrated. And uh, which is a whole nother lesson of itself talking about dehydration. And uh, so the other third, one third is preparation. The other third is pain. Are you willing to go through the pain? Your, your bones ache. You lay on the sleep on the ground, a sleeping bag with a thin pad. You get up in the morning, you have to work through the pain, the stiffness. And it's a pain <laughs> to shoot elk. It's a pain packing it out, 100 pound pack. Uh, it's no joke. And uh, <coughs> so a third of elk hunting is preparation. A third of it is pain. And the other third, third is patience. Man, you gotta have a lot of patience. You just gotta wait it out. When things don't look good, and I found when you least expect it, that's when you better be alert, because expect it when you least expect it. That's the way wildlife is. That's why we call it wildlife. And uh, so, just wanna encourage you today that uh, if you're trying to discipline to something, you gotta find your enjoyment side and part of it is looking ahead and anticipating what you're uh, anticipating why you're disciplining. What's the reward for discipline in the future? Uh, why you're doing it? You're dreaming ahead. Allow yourself to dream. Allow yourself uh, to stir up emotionally and uh, picture where you are and what you can do after that discipline, no matter what area or realm of discipline it is. So that's my encouragement for today. Discipline 
must come to become delight. When you delight in your discipline, because there's a reward and there's a change and a metamorphosis and, it, and uh, there's opportunities and doors up to uh, open up to disciplined people. And uh, here's an opportunity I have because I prepared for this and I pushed through the pain of this and I pushed through the pain right now. And I've been patient, very patient. I wanted to come off the mountain yesterday. There have been scattered elk, but not a legal bull. And so it pays off to be patient. And uh, so here we are. Hope to come back on and show you a dead elk. <laughs> that would be icing on the cake. But if not, I'm rejoicing in the fact that I'm able still to walk through and sense, hear the aspens, see the golden leaves on the ground, see the running water in the stream. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful experience. I, uh, last night I was close to a, uh, about a 10 inch owl. I got to look them up what kind of owl it is. And it flew right in right over me and, <coughs> and then flew and looked at me at another angle. And it was just fun. And then a squirrel was three feet away and and uh, I just started talking to it because it was unusually close and didn't didn't seem to be scared. And I made small gestures and then threw some nuts to it and it ate them. And uh, it's just some unusual experiences out in wildlife. Coyotes have been horrible this year. They've been all up through this canyon. And uh, yesterday I got within 100 feet of them, a whole pack howling. And that's unusual. They usually don't let you get that close. But as you can see around me, uh, the peaks behind me. I'm cutting up through the aspens here and hope to get back and get a shower. If I can get this elk down today, I'll probably be able to get back within phone range and get back to my Jeep pickup, 82 Jeep pickup by uh, maybe midnight and bring my sons back in there and haul this thing out of here. That's my plan. That's my strategies. But every strategy I submit to the Lord and just follow his spirit, trying to make wise decisions, and learning to get rid of the negative and just go with anticipation. What is the Lord going to bless you with today? That's part of discipline, anticipation. You got a good, good Father, capital F Father, Heavenly Father, and he wants to bless you. He's with you. What Father would not give you good gifts? Jesus said. <laughs> and their father delights in giving you good gifts because he delights in you. God loves you today. God bless you. We'll be back.